What's up everyone, you guys remember me? It's been a long time since I made a video, but there's some crazy news out there, so I wanna get in front of it, make sure we're talking about it, and get to all the details. So if you have been living under a rock, you've seen that roaring kitty, Keith Gill, the guy behind the Dumb Money movie, right? Wall Street Bets has just purchased $200 million worth of GameStop, right? So a couple things here, right? So number one is how the hell did he get $200 million? So at the end of the movie, they said that he made around like $40 million uh, on GameStop, right? And if you guys remember a couple weeks ago, we had a major run in GameStop again. Roaring Kitty started tweeting memes, right? And everyone was assuming that he was back long GameStop. So GameStop ended up going from $20 all the way up to $60, right? And I had one of my biggest trades of the year on AMC a couple days after that. So what ended up happening is my thought process that 40 million that he had, right? He probably bought more options before he started tweeting and the stock went absolutely bananas. He probably made 100, 150 million dollars on that trade, right? And then now sold it at the top and now is rebuying it again as support. So number one, you gotta hand it to him, right? You gotta hand it to him. This guy went from having to having, what was it, $50,000 turned to $40 million, turning to $200 million. Now, this is being recorded on Monday, right? So he made a post on Reddit uh, on Sunday night, around like 9 p.m. He made a post saying uh, GameStop YOLO trade. So basically he revealed that he had, I think it was $100 million, $150 million worth of stock so he bought 5 million shares of GameStop and he had $60 million worth of call options, 60 million, right? So in total, he had about a little bit over a $200 million position in GameStop. So he posted that on Reddit and then he tweeted a reverse Uno card, right? He tweeted a reverse Uno card. So now you got to think in your head, this guy has $200 million in GameStop. And he was the guy that led GameStop the first time during the pandemic. He was the guy that led GameStop two weeks ago, and now he's leading GameStop again. So my thought process on this GameStop thing was absolutely insane, right? Absolutely insane. And GameStop ended up opening up a pre-market today at 40, I think it hit as high as $47, okay? So on Friday, GameStop was in the $20, $21 range. At 4 a.m. this morning, it was at $46. It doubled. So GameStop literally doubled on Roaring Kitty posting his position on uh, Reddit and posting a reverse Uno card on Twitter. There was a lot of speculation that maybe Roaring Kitty's Twitter account was stolen or someone bought it or whatever the hell it is. But it's now very clear that this is actually indeed the same Roaring Kitty that made the money on GameStop a few years ago, that made the money on GameStop a few weeks ago, and now he's back with a vengeance. So the way it works is this. When you have 5 million shares of a stock and the stock is opening up $25 higher, right? $25 higher the next day. That means on the stock, he made a little bit over $100 million overnight just on the stock. But that's not the most important part, it's the options, right? The options. So on the options, he had, I think it was 120,000 contracts at $5 a contract. As I'm recording this video, those contracts are now $25 a contract. So his $60 million position is now $300 million. So overnight, in one night, in one night of posting on Reddit and uh, Twitter, he made $400 million, $400 million this nerd made, right? It's absolutely astronomical, right? If GameStop hit 50 or 60, he was gonna be a billionaire today, right? So this guy from his garage, his $50,000 turned to 40 million, 40 million turned to 200 million. This morning, the 200 million turned to half a billion dollars, $500 million, right? Crazy, absolutely crazy, I mean, I'm just blown away. I'm just so blown away by it and I just can't believe it. So I wanted to kind of come on here and talk about 
you know, the entire story, the entire scenario, you know, who he was, this, that, the other thing. But more importantly, I want to talk about how you can make money off of this, right? So as I'm recording this right now, the stock is at around $29 a share. So it went as high as 46 and came all the way back down to $29 a share. So if you guys remember, this is very similar to what happened two weeks ago on GameStop. So two weeks ago, Roaring Kitty came out, he posted his tweet and the stock went parabolic from 20 to 60. This time he posted his tweet, the stock went from 20 to 40. Hmm, a little bit weaker. Why is it weaker this time than the first time? It's because the first time it was, and first time I'm talking about two weeks ago, it's because the first time it was totally unexpected. No one knew who was coming. No one knew what the hell was going on. And a lot of the people that bought GameStop a few years ago either sold it or got rid of it or whatever. So there was not as much selling pressure on it. There was only buying pressure. This time, because two weeks ago, people were buying at 40, 50, 60, whatever the hell it may be, those people are stuck, right? They're stuck. And whenever you're stuck on a position, you guys know, please, if it just goes to break even, please, if it goes to break even, I'll just take my money and sell. And that's what's been happening. So, <coughs> excuse me. So what's been happening is a lot of these buyers that bought a few weeks ago are now underwater and they're just selling for break even whenever they could get it. So that's creating a lot of resistance for the stock. It's creating a lot of sell pressure. As soon as the stock opened up today, it went straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. It's because a lot of people were stuck from higher. Now, what is my game plan? What's my thought process? How am I gonna make money on this? So call me paper hands, call me lettuce hands, call me a herb, call me whatever you want, but I make money on the short side. I make money when these stocks go down. So I had my biggest month, I mean my biggest day, a few weeks ago on AMC made $150,000 in AMC. If you remember, after GameStop ran and came back down, the next morning, it gapped up to 60. So it went to 60, came down to 30, closed at 40, and at 4 a.m. it was at $60. AMC went from 12 to six, closed at seven, 4 a.m. it was $9. So my game plan, my thought process, my mentality is I am hoping and praying that these stocks gap up tomorrow to the top of their range so I could short them. In a perfect world, right? In a perfect world, Roaring Kitty would come out and say, hey guys, I didn't sell anything. I actually bought more. If this mother trucker says that he bought more stock, this is going up again tomorrow, right? So it all depends on what happens at the end of the day. That GameStop's price action at this point doesn't matter. It's just a vehicle. It's just a trading vehicle. All that matters is what's going to happen at the market close. <coughs> if Rory Kitty posts that he added to his position. So let's stay tuned and let's see what this guy does. So comment down below. Do you think Rory Kitty sold his position or adds his position? And let's see.